Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,455. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great video here. We want to see how to convert text month criteria to an upper and lower date that can be used in the sum ifs function. Now, here's our report. And for any intersecting cell, we need to calculate from this transactional data set the monthly total for a selected product. Now, the trouble with this is, is that we have text month, meaning three characters. This whole row has to be May. This whole row has to be June. Now, at the head of each row, we have text. But at the head of each column, we have a number which represents the year. Now. We want to use the sum ifs function and add all the sales for each particular month for a given product. And there's a few ways we actually could do this. We could add two extra helper columns, one that would convert from a serial number date to the month. Then we could use this criteria on that column, and also one for year and use that criteria. But there's a great trick we can use inside of the sum ifs function to go from a text date into a serial number date that the sum ifs function will understand. Not only that, but there's one other complication. For this cell right here, I actually need to look through the entire date column and ask the question, are any of you dates greater than or equal to the 1st of March and less than or equal to the end of March? All right, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to click in the top cell, equals sum ifs. Now, the sum range, that's always all the numbers we potentially want to add from. I'm going to click in the top cell, Control, Shift, Down arrow to highlight all the way down to the bottom, F4 key to lock it. That range needs to be locked as we copy it down and over, comma, criteria range. Well, we actually are going to have three different criteria ranges. Now, the first one, since we need to isolate records that are for product Majestic View, for criteria range, I'm going to highlight the entire product column. Click in the top cell, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, F4, comma. Now the criteria. That's the single item we need to have picked out from this column. Anytime it sees a Majestic View, it will know to go and get the sales from the Sales column. Now, this actually needs to be locked in all directions. Every single cell needs Majestic Butte or whatever condition we have selected. So I'm going to hit the F4 key. Now, comma, criteria range 2. Well, we have an upper and lower date for each month. So I'm going to put criteria range 2. The date column. This will be the first time we insert the date column. Click in the top cell, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, and F4. Now I type a comma, criteria 2. And this is where we're going to need to get tricky and convert text date to an actual serial number date that can be compared against all of our individual dates in our date column. Now, before we do the greater than or equal to lower limit and less than or equal to the upper limit, let's just see if we can get a date here. So watch this. I'm going to type a 1 and then ampersand. That is the join symbol that allows us to join things together. And I click on the cell with the month name. Now I type an ampersand. And now I'm going to click on the column header for the year. Now, we're not done with this, but let's just click on criteria to argument to highlight it and hit the F9 key to evaluate this. 1 January 2012. That can be interpreted by sum ifs, count ifs, average ifs, and other date functions also as a proper date, even though it shows up as text. That means the internal parts of sum ifs and functions like end of the month or program to interpret this text date correctly. Now, that's not what we want. We need a lower and upper limit, Control-Z. So before the 1, I have to put the comparative operator in double quotes. This is the lower limit. So I type double quotes, greater than or equal to, 
And then after the number one, I type double quote, and that will work. Now, if we click on criteria two and hit the F9 key, that is the criteria for the lower limit. That greater than means sum ifs will look through this column and pick out all dates over here that are greater than or equal to this lower limit. Now, we'll do our upper limit in just a moment, but Control Z, that's going to work for lower. Now, we have to consider our cell references. Notice F7, that's January. For this entire row, I need it locked on January. But when the formula copies down, I need it to move to February, March, and so on. Now, when we take the formula and copy it to the side, we're copying across the columns. So I need it locked on the F. That means it needs to be locked on F7 as we copy to the side. Not only that, but that F7, notice, needs to move to F8 and then F9 as we copy down. With my cursor touching F7, hit the F4 key once, twice, and three times. I've locked the F, but not the 7. Now, if I click in G6, this is exactly the opposite. As I copy down, I need it locked on G6. But as I move to the side across the columns, I need it to move from G6 to H6, I6, and so on. So I'm going to lock only the row, hitting the F4 key once and twice. Now, that construction right there will work perfectly in all cells in our pivot table for the lower limit. Now, cursor at the end, I type a comma, criteria range 3. Well, I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to click on criteria range 2. That's the date column, Control-C to copy. Click on criteria range 3. That jumps my cursor over there, Control-V to paste. Now, comma, criteria 3. This is where we need our upper limit. Now I'm going to cheat. I'm going to copy that little bit, because I already did the hard work creating it. Control-C, click. So I'm sitting in criteria 3, Control-V. And I'm going to backspace to get rid of that double quote. Now as we saw before, that's the first of the month. But really, we need the end of the month. No problem. E-O, and there's our end of the month function. I hit Tab. Now, end of the month takes any day and just gives me the end of the month. If I look at the screen tip, start date, comma, months. If I type a 1, this would give me the end of the month for next month. That means add one month. If I type minus 1, it would be the end of the month for last month. But I want the current month, so I simply type a 0, close parentheses. Now, that won't work because it's the actual end of the month. Remember, whatever dates we pick out from our date column have to be in double quotes, less than or equal to the last day in the month, and double quotes, and join it. And there's our sum ifs. If I come to the end and close parentheses, I definitely have my sum range. Criteria, there's the particular product. We list date column. There's greater than or equal to the start of the month. There's the date column repeated. And there's less than or equal to the last day in the month. Now I'm going to use Control-Enter to put that formula in the cell and keep the cell selected. I point to that little green box, which is the fill handle. And when I see my cross, hair, or angry rabbit, I click and drag to copy it over. I let go, and now I double click and send it down. That is totally amazing. But we have to go to the diagonally furthest cell away and hit F2. I need to verify that all of the cell references for my conditions and criteria and columns are working. And they are. Escape. Now I can come up here and select Eagle. And just like that, everything is updated. I could scroll up and select Quad. That is absolutely amazing. Now I want you to notice something. We used a formula here, right? We actually could use a pivot table to create this exact report much more quickly. But there's one reason that people sometimes for their reports and dashboards use formulas, and it's this. If I have source data and I were to change this number right here, notice this is for December 2013, so I'm going to just put some big number here, right? Before I hit Enter, we're watching down here. As soon as I hit Enter, Formulas update instantly. Now I'm going to Control-Z to bring it back to that 4325. 
But if we need to use the sum ifs, and in our case, we created a cross tabulated report for year and month given a particular product, and we have text dates, no problem. We can use this cool trick of joining the text and the first of the month, and even using the end of the month get end of the month. All right, if you like this video, click that thumbs up, comment, and sub. And next video, we'll get to see the same report with a pivot table and slicer. All right, we'll see you next video.